Hey everybody, David Burns. I'm excited to be with you again today. I got some fun stuff for you lined up. It's cold right now. It's 45 degrees. I think I saw one or two bees flying. It's cloudy. We're 10 days away from spring, so my bees are not flying much at all today. It's too cold, too windy, too damp. Doggone it. 10, day away, 10 days away from spring, we're just waiting. You know, we can't get this spring in here. And uh, so there's not much we can do about bees right now. But I want to show you a cool video today. And I've got some March tips coming up. March tips! And this would be fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a package of bees. It's going to be fun for all of you that are new to beekeeping and starting out uh, installing a package. And in this installation I'm going to show you, you're going to see some interesting things. So watch it all the way through. Even if you're an experienced beekeeper, you might learn a new trick or two. But one of the things you'll see is that I'm going to be using some medium-sized frames in a deep box. Don't freak out. Sometimes I, I just use what's available. <laughs> and uh, all the bees do is add a little bit of comb on the bottom of that, make one big frame out of it, a deep frame. No big deal. It's, it's pretty cool when they do that. Also in this video, you're going to see me not wear a hat or veil or any gloves. I do not recommend you do that. I'll just put a disclaimer out. I'm doing it because sometimes I'm just kind of wild that way. I recommend you wear protective gear, protect yourself, don't get stung. All right, so just because I'm doing it that way, I probably shouldn't have for video's sake, but I want to put that disclaimer out there. Always wear safety gear so you don't get stung. Now, before we jump into the video, let me tell you this. I love installing packages in five frame nucleus boxes. They seem to explode faster for me. It's crazy. That is a preferred size, by the way, that uh, these swarms prefer when they're starting out like that. So I just put them in a five frame nuke, let them just build up in there and then move them over uh, to a deep hive body. You don't have to do that. You can start them in a deep hive body. I'm just saying they really grow fast in a five frame nucleus like this. All right, let's get into the video of installing a package and then I'll tell you about the March tips. Okay, so today I wanna show you something that I like to do and that is I like to install packages in a five frame nuke box. I've had really good success with installing new packages in a box this size because the natural swarm prefers to have a size of about, I think it's uh, equal to about a five gallon jug maybe. And this really fits the bill. So I'm going to show you how we um, install a package of honeybees. This is a traditional uh, cage that we're using now. We've used them for the last few years. It's got the candy can in the middle. It's made out of plastic, so it may uh, kind of be different than you're used to with the wooden cages, which we use for hundreds of years. It's got a little queen tab. So what I'm going to do is shake the bees down like this. It doesn't hurt the bees. And then I'm going to pull the can out that's full of candy. And some bees are going to fly out. But just hang on. I'm going to grab the queen cage. I'm going to put the can back just to hold the bees in. Now here's the queen cage here. And you can see the queen is walking around inside of there. You might be wondering, what is all that comb on there? Well, it means the bees have been really fed well while they've been in the cage. And they've been in the cage, uh, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They've been in the cage five days. I've purposely held them there that long. They feed the queen. She's in there by herself. They feed her through the little holes there. I'm going to take the cap off. If you can see the cap right here, just pulls off, exposing the candy. Now, it's not a bad idea to remove a little bit of the candy. Uh, that's about an inch of candy. If you want to take half of it out, especially after the the queen has been in there that long, you can take a lot of it out. I'm just going to remove about that much. And now I'm going to kind of just hang on to that queen cage while I dump all the bees in there. And here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to put the queen right here. Now they're going to be flighty because they're not mad, they're not angry, they're just wanting to fly around. I'm going to put the, some frames back in along with the queen. 
they're already used to her pheromones, so I want to make sure that they know where the queen is. I'm just going to put it right there in the top. I'm going to take these beads that are in here and get some more to go right on top of the queen, like this. All right. Now I'm going to put the top on. So you can see here the nice white comb that the bees have made and uh, it's because they've eaten the sugar out of here and they got a little bit left after these seven days. It's just around the corner. You'll be installing your packages too. Now for those of you looking for the March tips, these tips are really solid. These tips are really good and they're in my next video. Watch them right here. March tips. I'll see you over there.